Hit Film Sensei here. Today in this video, we're going to talk about how to do a letterbox on your editor timeline. So I've already done a video on how to do letterbox effect. However, uh, that only talked about it within a comp composite shot. So what I'm going to do now is, is I'm going to talk about how to do this on an editor timeline. Now, within a composite shot, okay, I used a plane and then I put letterbox effect on that plane and then changed the blend mode. And somebody said in the comments, hey, you could just do that with a grade layer too. And I said, yep, that's absolutely right. And it would actually be easier in a comp composite shot. However, on the editor timeline, you can't actually do that. So how would you create a letterbox over this entire timeline of different things that we are filming. Well, it's really easy. I want to cover all of these, and I don't want to drop the letterbox in every single one of these shots, because this is only a minute and a half or so, but if this went on for a long time, it would be really tough. So here's what you're going to do. You're going to make a new plain layer, and you're going to make it white, and I'm going to call it letterbox, just like this. And then I'm going to drop it right here. Oh, and I have all my other planes, and that's fine. I'm going to drop it right here, and I'm going to expand it to cover the entire area of my timeline. And then I'm going to put the letterbox inside of that plane or on that plane. And poof, now all I have to do is right-click on that and set the blend mode to darken, and look at that. Now I have my shot. Now what happens if I have a shot and I'm not real fond of where it's at? I can click on that and then I can drag it within there to make it put it exactly where I want it, right? So for example, maybe I, I want this one to be a little, uh, you know, higher and show more of his hands there. That's great. Let's say I want this shot uh, to be a little lower than I might. Uh, drop it down like that, or maybe I want it to be higher and I bring it up like that. But the point is, is that I can make adjustments, but I have one big letterbox that covers my entire project. So that's it in a nutshell. That's how you do a letterbox in the timeline. If you have any questions, uh, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. If you would like to keep up with the latest tutorial videos from HitFilm Sensei, consider liking the HitFilm Sensei Facebook page, following the HitFilm Sensei Twitter feed, and subscribing to the HitFilm Sensei YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. A new video comes out every Friday, and thanks for your support.